Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to enhance eyes in Lightroom. So the first thing we're going to do is select our image and then go to the Develop tab, and then we're going to select the Adjustment Brush, which is just on the right of the panels here, or just hit K on your keyboard. So next, let's go ahead and zoom in close to the eyes. And I had to pan a little bit there because it zoomed in elsewhere. But we're going to zoom in close to the eyes here, make sure our Adjustment Brush is selected, and then dial up the exposure just a little bit. I have mine on 0.1, which is not very much. So let's go ahead and actually just crank it up a little bit more to about 0.2, just so that way we have a little bit more of a difference to show. So now let's go ahead and start painting a little bit, and we're going to just paint over the iris of the eye and a little bit on the whites of the eye as well. And we want to start out low. We don't want to go way too high with the exposure because if you go too bright, it starts to look really, really fake. So we're just going to kind of continue around here and make sure we... Watch our edges a little bit. Uh, I do have the auto mask ticked, which will kind of, if you have this ticked, what it does is it makes sure it doesn't go too far over, but I think I did miss just a little bit here on the uh, edge of this eyelid. So I'm just gonna erase to make sure I didn't get anything on there. So now that that's done, what we did is we just kind of brightened it up a little bit. And if I go ahead and I close out this tab, and then I just toggle back and forth here, you can see I just kind of brightened up the eyes overall. And I'm thinking I may have gone a little too bright with it. Just kind of looking at it, that, that may be. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually go back to fill. Right, let's actually do fit here. And let's just make sure that it's not too bright. And it, it definitely looks like too much to me. So this is why it's important to use the adjustment brush. We can just go ahead and click here again and then we can dial this back down to something like 0.1. And let me go ahead and close one more time. And the reason you want to close is otherwise you have that little annoying dot in the way. And it's kind of hard to actually see what you're doing or what adjustments you've made. So let's go ahead and take one more look at that. Okay, and 0.1 is much more subtle when it comes to actually enhancing the eye a little bit. So that's how we can brighten the whites and give the iris a little bit of pop to begin with, but we're not done yet. We're gonna do one more thing. And that's, we're gonna go back to the adjustment brush. We're gonna go ahead and keep the exposure at about 0.1. And I should really just use the keyboard by now because I can never get it right with the dial. And then let's go ahead and take the saturation and put that up to about 25. And then let's take sharpness and drag that up to about 40. And this is gonna be quite heavy handed and we can always adjust this later if we don't like the way it looks, but it should really help the eyes pop out or the irises, I should say, pop out more. So let's go ahead and just paint that over like so. All right, so if we go ahead and actually close this out, um, so if there's an easier way to toggle uh, brush adjustments, let me know in the comments because I don't use them too much. Uh, this was a viewer requested video, so I figured I would show how I would do it inside of Lightroom. So if there's a faster way and you know it, let me know in the comments. I'll like pin it to the top so everyone can know. But I'm gonna quick go ahead and undo this. And let's see just the difference that it makes. It really brings out like the little tiny details and makes the color stand out a bit more in the eye. And honestly, I think if we zoom in a little bit more here, and I uh, keep pressing space because I'm used to Photoshop and that just backs it out. You can see it really kind of just sharpens things up and adds a lot of detail and a lot of contrast into the image. Um, so what I want to do is I actually want to go back to the adjustment brush. I want to make sure I have this one selected. And I want to see if we can possibly get away with putting a little bit more sharpness, something more like 50. Uh, it looks like we can actually go up to like 60 and it'd be okay. And that's just to get a little bit extra detail uh, because there's, there's so much detail in this shot to begin with. And to have that little extra bit of sharpness on the eye details is just awesome. So if we quick toggle it, you'll see like it, it makes such a huge difference with that little bit of adjustment to the brush that we just did. And let's go ahead and zoom in here again and let's toggle it one more time. And you can see it just brings out all those little details. It makes the color stand out more and it just really pops. So let's go ahead and go all the way back to, you know, fit to screen. So that way you can see the image as a whole. 
And you'll notice you, you're not going to see it as much from back here. But if we quick give it a toggle from where we started to where we went, you'll see it does give the eyes a little more pop. It makes them stand out a bit more and it gives them a lot more color. So it's definitely an easy way to go about enhancing the eyes in Lightroom. And if you're able to view it at a full resolution, it, it really makes a huge difference to color. It, it's definitely uh, quite a large amount of added detail and depth to the image. If you were able to learn something today, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Feel free to share this on any social media you see fit. As long as my work is being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.